Cool Herc deserves like his own. It's always been my dream to establish like a hip hop's version of like the I guess like the MacArthur like, Genius Grant or something like that. Um, simply because uh, he took from his birthplace of Jamaica the idea of Jamaican toasting, Jamaican parties. They built their own speakers. Uh, you know, you go out into the park and you play these records. Um, and he took that idea and just reapplied them to uh, soul records, and more specifically, a lot of obscure soul records that were ignored, um, but had a special element to them that seemed to be the, the favorite, which was basically the, the drum break, the idea of giving the drummer some, which you don't take a solo, you just let the drummer play the break for eight bars, you know. That, that's always, like, the highlight of any 70s record. Once you gave the drummer some, that was your time to get down, you know. Um, that was the most part, exciting part of the song. And, you know, for him uh, to take that technology and that idea and, and bring it to the masses, you know, not only Cool Herc, but also African Bombada, who, you know, Cool Herc is known for the Herculoids, the idea of, of large speakers, because he comes from Jamaica. They, they built their own, you know, crates, their own woofers, their own tweeters, and have the loudest speaker systems ever. Africa Mimbata, who uh, wisely just donated his 40,000 records uh, to a New York, New York museum for display, like the actual record collection that invented hip hop, um, you know, he was more or less known for his obscure selections. The soul sonic force. He told me, like, you know, the real definition of hip hop is going to the Bronx River projects and playing the monkeys and playing the Beatles and your audience not being the wiser. There's there's a drum break in the the, the reprise of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Bland that that is a b boy favorite. You play that for five minutes and no one knows that's the Beatles. <laughs> you play Mary Mary by the Monkeys, no one knows that that's the Monkeys. They just see it as as a great drum break to dance to. Um, Graham was a Theodore who invented scratching, um, you know, and, and of course Grandmaster Flash, who you know, did so many innovations with the, the turntable. I mean, it's it's it's, it's the birth of a hip hop nation. It's it's very important, and you know, I'm I'm happy to not even be, be a part of it. I'm happy to actually bear witness to it, and that to me is is probably the, the great last American uh, music revolution, in my opinion.